Looking for a big sandwich served up with an attitude to match? Well, Bob Nixon found just the place in Surrey where the owner demands good manners in exchange for his creations. Bob braved it all for the love of a sandwich. In Surrey, there is a delicatessen with a French name that sells mostly Scandinavian food run by a Lebanese Canadian named Salam Cahil. And you only take cash? Cash a check or a jewelry. This is a man who loves his customers. Come and get some samples here. As long as they behave. Now, now you're supposed to say, what a deal. <laughs> Thank you. And then some people have attitudes. They don't want to say, please. And honestly, no sandwich for them. And some people were bent for life. And a year later, they came back. And I said to him, you know, didn't we agree you're not coming back? He said, I didn't come back. I said, what are you doing here then? No sandwich for you for the rest of your life. Young his man. customers love him. Thank you, sir. It's very good. Master, I like to be called master. Salam. It's salam. He's, he's a great guy. A great morbid sense of humor. So if you have Havarti with garlic, remember, today is a Friday. So you have to sleep on your own. And they really love his deli sandwiches. Hey, guys, we have no bread left. This is the ham for you first. Amazing. Unbeatable. You Huge. Can't, you can't get anything like it from, you know, a Tim... Never mind. How about some mortadella and turkey? And his sandwiches are unbelievable. It's more than one person could possibly eat in a day. And a couple of slices of gouda for you. Even without bread, his lettuce wrap sandwich weighs in at more than 600 grams. Cost less than eight bucks. We'll get bread next time or bring our own maybe. <laughs> now, believe it or not, Cahill is a little less outrageous than normal, not only because we're here, but also because this is his first day back on the job in four months. In July, he was almost killed in a car accident. The rear ended by a semi truck on a freeway. It was going 90 kilometer an hour. So he is back on the job, doing what he loves to do. He's been given a second chance. You're going to give those, those bad customers a second chance? No. If people are miserable, I don't want them to make my life miserable either. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Surrey.